that work in? Yes. Awesome! <laughs> we finally got it all working! So I've been like talking crap on, <laughs> on Periscope for the last five minutes, boring everybody to death. Not that this is not going to bore everybody to death, because I'm going to talk about concaves! So if you don't like concaves, sign off now, because there's like no point in listening. Um, cool! So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk a little bit about, I had, um, most of the time we do like a, a, um, a how-to or a, a, just an informational piece. It's, it's mostly because it's in response to a, um, an email from somebody. Uh, today is not because um, I just thought of it and I thought it would be kind of a cool idea is just to tell you guys exactly why um, am I out of focus on that one. Not out of focus, I'm just trying to get you more in the shot. Um, so exactly why we would build one board that has a slight concave like that and then you've got the Bula which is our world famous Sean and Oka designed um, Bula, which, um, uh, just a fun fact, this is actually Sean, um, which shaped these over, of all things, a mayonnaise jar. So when he was shaping them, he would just take a mayonnaise jar and do it like that. And so that's where that concave comes from. But the question is why? Why do you need the concave? Um, so, Obviously, if you've been doing, if you surf or, or do any kind of water sports, um, wave riding water sports probably you'd understand a little bit more, um, you'd get it. So this is really for people who, who don't. Um, so we'll start with the, with the steep concave, right. So the steep concave, um, and this board is designed specifically for really fast steep shore break, okay. It's small so you can duck out the back and then you've got the concave. And the concave, what that does is it essentially acts as almost like a, a fin on a surfboard as you can dig it down. Um, and what that does is it just gives it hold. It kind of almost creates like a suction. It kind of like, you can imagine it almost sucking down on the water and it just stays and it keeps that line very well or a lot better than um, something that was just flat. Because if it was flat, it just kind of skim off the top. So that there is kind of in a nutshell exactly why you would have a pretty steep. And so like we've taken, well Sean took this to an absolute, like completely new level as, as far as concave. I mean you're not going to get concave like this on, on anything else. It's crazy. Um, so yeah, the, the, the idea is that you can really, it almost acts like that sucker on a, on a wave. Um, so then we've got the the less concave. I mean, there's probably there's still concave actually. All it's a really beautiful kind of slight concave, um, the, almost the entire length of the board. So now, why it's less is obviously it's a bigger board. Okay, um, this board will be designed for something like um, I ride this in everything that. Um, uh, well, everything but kind of shore break, anything um, that isn't too steep because um, what will happen if you do drop into something really steep is like I said before it just kind of skims out on you um, and that's because of um, the lack of that extra concave that acts as that suction so um, we like to have the, con the, the slight concave on this even, even so though because what that does is it likes to channel the water down down the uh, down the center like that. So you still get a little bit of that suction when you're on a wave. This board is is really awesome for doing. I like doing turns like that. Now if you can imagine, um, you can still do the turns on the Bula, but honestly, I, I find it really quite difficult. I like to just kind of get into some whopping shore break on this and just like, kind of go straight. With this, I really like to kind of do like little cutbacks and all sorts of like fun stuff. Um, that's my personal um, personal thoughts on it, but there you have it. That's why we have the difference between a major concave and then a slight concave. So you can. You can kind of uh, you can kind of get it's more designed for a specific two diff uh, different kinds of waves. So 
Um, you can take a look at our other boards, the, uh, the Grom, which we just brought out, which also has a very slight concave and pretty much only like two thirds of the body. Um, and again, same thing, it wasn't designed um, for, you know, that, that steep shore break. It was more for like, kind of, you know, um, anything other than that. And then, of course, the, um, the, uh, the fish, which is just the speedster board. So, um, stuff that, like, you really want to get out of the section quickly, um, the fish is your board. And that doesn't have a heavy... I'll let you get that just so you guys can know. Sitting right here, sitting, sitting so you can see like there's almost next to no um, concave on that. There's probably again just probably a third of the, the board kind of runs out. Um, so it kind of sucks underneath that um, that rail and then out the back like that. Um, the, the reason you can also almost looks like a bullet, really um, aerodynamic or aquadynamic. So it just cruises straight through the uh, through the water. You don't you've got that long outline like that, so water doesn't get the drag doesn't come back. Whereas this water is actually going to come right around this entire area like that. So it's not as fast as that, but um, you know you can do all sorts of things. So there you have it. I'm sure I've confused everybody uh, to no end, but hopefully you got a little bit of something out of that. You understand why we do. Um, have the concave, the steep concave, um, well, the less concave. We have concave on all our boards, but that's uh, just a preference from us, and, and you know that's that's why we're.